We've been looking at the baptism of Jesus this week and how is it that we should approach baptism when it comes to the local church. Now, one area that people want to talk about are the remission of sins. And isn't baptism there for the remission of sins? Well, let me ask you a question. If Jesus was sinless, was he being baptized for the remission of his sins? No, he wasn't. In fact, that never took place. So why is it then that we have changed it then into baptism being about the remission of our sins? There's different verbiage that are used in different churches. And the verbiage that we have chosen to use is because of your profession of faith and in obedience to his command, his being Jesus' command, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection. So in other words, it's about living again. It's about a public display. It is about making a statement. It is about starting a ministry. It is about faith and it is about obedience. It is about following what Jesus called us to do. And it is not about what the church says or what the church feels. This is a public statement that you are making, but it's a statement that you are making before other people in front of your Savior. And it is because of this step of faith, and it is because of this act of obedience that we can follow a Savior who loves us just as we are. And we get to show that we love Him just as He is, as He has entered our life.